Whenever we obey the gospel of Jesus, the Lord puts us into his body, into the church. Well, the body must have members who fulfill their function. In Ephesians chapter 4, beginning in verse 15, we know that the growth of the body will happen when every part does its share. Paul said, rather speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ, from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. God is interested in our growth. He wants us to grow. He wants us to grow first individually, doesn't he, as a member of the body. And so that falls upon each of us as a responsibility before God that as a Christian, I've got to spend time in the Word and I've got to serve and worship and meditate and live the Christian life and do all of these things so I can grow in Christ. And you know what happens? When each of us grow individually, the local congregation will grow individually, will be stronger, will be bolder, will be more active, will be engaged in more works of service and opportunities like that. It's been stated many times, we understand a chain is as strong as its weakest link. And so think about the body's strength. Think about how we are affected sometimes by weak and inactive members who choose, they choose themselves not to be a part, not to serve, not to worship, not to study, not to engage in any activities of the church. How each of us functions as members of the body affects the strength you know, of our congregation. 